It was a nice beach day, and I think tomorrow uh, should be a nice beach day too. So that's for two good on news. the weekend. All right. Good timing. Now let's get to Viper Radar because we have just a few little showers, a few little lightning strikes out there, but most of us are going to stay dry through the remainder of your Saturday evening. So great news for your outdoor plans. Uh, you can see we do have uh, two areas in Palm Beach County, one here uh, very far west of Boynton Beach, a little cell right there, and some lightning right at the border of uh, Broward County and Palm Beach County. County, but that is essentially it. We have a few showers over Lake O and we move to the Treasure Coast. Well, let's zoom into this area right there. You can see this storm sinking southward into Broward and this shower is well west of 441. So thankfully, uh, not too many people that live there right now. But if you are driving out west in central Palm Beach County, you could run into some showers and we do have some activity off the coast that from time to time could brush the coastline tonight. But basically, a dry night. Now this was a beautiful sunrise from Delray Beach. I love the glow there on the camera. Bright blue skies. Of course, everyone came out setting up the chairs and this day they didn't have to pack up and uh, get out of the way of storm clouds because we stayed dry at the beach right through the evening hours. West Palm Beach made it up to right around 91 today. The average 88, so we were hot and Vero Beach. They were a little bit cooler. 89, still one degree above their average of 88 degrees. Current temps right now 84 in Boca, 85 Boynton Beach, 87 Indian Town, 84 in Okeechobee and Vero Beach checking in at 85 degrees. Some beautiful photos for you. Speaking of gators, Dorothy Bass took this last night of this gator there in the lake. Beautiful sunset behind it. I mean, that is that says Florida right there. Alligators and beautiful sunsets. Linda Emerson, she caught this little rainbow in the sky as she was uh, arriving into PBIA. So she was still up in the air and took that out of the plane window. So thank you, Linda. Ed Mullen, beautiful shot of Juno Beach. Thank you. And Tom Poitivin capturing uh, some wildlife there in uh, Boynton Beach with all all of those pelicans. So a nice Saturday for everybody. OK, winds out of the north northeast. So with that northerly drainage, that is going to allow some temperatures to be a little bit cooler tonight, especially by the lake. 73 Indian Town, 73 Okeechobee, but near the coastline, West Palm Beach, 79 degrees and Boca holding steady at 80 degrees tonight. Mid 70s for the Treasure Coast highs tomorrow, upper 80s uh, to the low 90s. So similar to what we saw today. Tropics pretty quiet. We have this little area right here that the National Hurricane Center just giving a 10% chance of development to and the remnants of Gordon right now a 0% chance of regenerating. All right, your Viper cast for tomorrow. We'll see uh, a few showers and storms firing up along the East Coast sea breeze right around the noon hour, one o'clock, and then that will move inland. So again, a relatively dry day here for South Florida tonight. Temperatures dropping down to 79 degrees, winds out of the north at five. And here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures in the upper 80s, relatively dry the next three days. First day of fall starts tomorrow and then we ramp up those rain chances the second half of the week.